Hey Clashers, I have started a completely new free to play account because I wanted to find out how fast the progression is looking like if you're not spending any money in the game. Especially with the newest feature of the equipments. The question is, is this going to be a big problem for free to play players or is it actually quite easy to progress through the different level of equipments? And today it's marking the day where we are into this challenge for one exact month. 31 days and we have reached after playing free to play for one month already Town Hall 12. The equipments are looking great and this is as well what I am taking as like baseline for my Town Hall upgrades because take a look at this. The equipments currently are just so important and I'm nearly overflowing with ores. You have so many ores in the beginning of this game. It's crazy. Obviously, as equipments are getting more expensive, it's going to slow down. But overall, this is the progression of just one month. And it's to me a big surprise how quickly I was to, able to progress to those different levels. But now you're wondering, it's why are you upgrading your town hall so quick? That is for two main reasons. First off, I want to upgrade the blacksmith and that is now doing those two things which first off is unlocking more equipments which I can upgrade and second of all is going to increase the storage capacity of my ores because those epic equipments they are great and I will probably take like spiky ball fireball and like the rocket spear which are all damage equipments but well the other common equipments I have to get them upgraded first as well gems are like that's a really really big topic if you're starting the new journey in Clash of Clans because, um, well, you want to have five bidders. You want to have the apprentice bidder upgraded because that is giving a really, really nice boost to your progression. So you need to make sure that your infrastructure is set and the next thing for that is as well the sixth bidder then which you're getting from the, well, bidder base which is uh, sometimes kind of annoying because the way on how you have to farm here is to pretty much just start an attack Deploy all, of, deploy all of your troops around the other village. Make sure that you're using baby dragons. That's like the easiest way of doing so. And then just force quit the app. You're going to get a defense and take an offense. And this makes sure that you're getting like non-stop loot. Infinite loot if you have the time. And I really want to highlight one of my teammates. Because the cool thing about this challenge is that I have not started this alone. I have started this with many, many players out there. And take a look at this. He's already town level 13, which is okay. I mean, as I said, like rushing the town hall is in the current state of the game, like the best thing you can do. And as well being high in trophies. We will talk about that a bit more in just a second. But I want to highlight his bidder base because he has committed so much time. Take a look at this. This is the progression of one month. That's right. One month and this guy is already like having mixed out walls. Like that's just insane. Take a look at this. He has done like 3,200 attacks or something because that's how many bitter halls he has destroyed. Maybe there's like 100 where he has not gotten the bitter hall, but like that's around the number, which is just insane. On my side, I have like 600 or something. This guy's like non-stop grinding bitter base. And that's, I guess, the positive thing that you can grind it. It's really boring, but... You can do it if you really want to. So it's kind of insane that his progression in the builder base. Back to my village. Well, overall, I want to talk about what is the smartest thing if you're starting a new account in Clash of Clans. And as I said already, I am connecting my progression mainly based on the equipment. So I'm connecting them to the equipment. And based on that, I want to make sure that I'm upgrading my blacksmith building so I can upgrade equipment, which I will use later on because I won't upgrade the I don't know, the Baron or Archer Puppet. But another building is like finished, which means we can start the final level, the final star of town level 12. And then we can go to town level 13, which means we can upgrade our blacksmith building one more time, which this is going to even more capacity for the ores. And we can upgrade even more equipments, which we're going to use later on. As I said, I'm only upgrading equipments, which I will use later on. So uh, yeah, that's why I'm not upgrading the Barbarian or the Archer Puppet, for example. And then on channel 13, we'll chill a little bit, take take our time, relax, upgrade our heroes, because that's the next important thing. But equipments are so important, because if you're going for the damage equipments, the hero level are nice to have, and you still have the hero potions, but there is no potion for the equipments. And that's why it's so important to make sure that you're going for the equipments. As well, that's another reason why you should always farm in high trophy ranges. Especially, obviously, if, like, I have currently, because I've upgraded recently my Town Hall, I have still the Star Bonus multiplier, 
And that's obviously working for orcs as well. And the loot is not that bad. I have seen a lot of people saying the loot is really bad in like high trophy ranges. And obviously attacking like dead bases in crystal is way better. But you will never, like a player who has just started, would have been started like one month ago uh, as free to play and has, has farmed like in crystal. Yes, he might have max walls, but his equipments will be maybe like, I don't know, a third of the level of mine, maybe even less leveled, which is an insane difference. And you cannot catch that up. I can at this point, whenever I want, and I feel like my walls are too low, I can just drop down in trophies and farm for one or two days and then get them to max. But I still have my equipment levels, right? So whenever you're doing a new account, whenever you're farming, do that in high trophies. I can only recommend that to you. It is just so more important. That's time. Like, ores are limited. You can never catch up with that. Like. Regular resources you can farm whenever you want, whenever you have time. Ores is impossible. Another thing as well is an important thing you should note is sell magic items in the beginning, especially when you don't have those long upgrades. Yes, even those crazy cool ones like a universal book, for example, 50 gems are more important to get the uh, bidder going and upgraded. Um, especially that apprentice builder to make sure that the progression is better. Yes, the apprentice builder is really, really expensive, and I still think it's too expensive, but in the end, it's still like the best thing you can buy when you have already all of the regular builders, for example, because it's long form progression. If you're planning to play the, uh, planning to play the game for quite some time, the apprentice builder is the way to go. As well, just selling all of those magic items, obviously the clock towers, if you want to progress faster in builder base, you can do that, obviously. But for me, I'm looking forward to upgrade this guy to level five. And that's pretty much my profile as well um, with the achievements. And that's another thing, like in the achievements, there are so many gems. And to be honest, completely underestimated how many gems there are and you can unlock with those achievements. It's kind of crazy. I think for me, I would go for the goblin uh, kind of campaign maps a little bit more to get the remaining gems, I guess, for my apprentice bearer. That's for me the next step uh, to do. Otherwise, even bitter base and as well in clan capital, there's quite some nice gems to obtain. But there's one more place which is really, really important. And yes, I know the gold pass has changed, but I'm not talking about like all of those features where you can like buy offers on the Super Sister website. And really important note, yes, the gold pass was changed yesterday, which was a really shitty change. So make sure that you're aware of that before thinking about buying like the gold pass or anything. No, what I'm talking about is when you're buying anything on the, on the website, you're getting points to progress through this pass. This is what most people know. What most people don't know is that you can get the first two um, of those rewards completely free to play because there are challenges on the website. And if you connect your Supercell ID with the Supercell store, you can like get those points. And this means every single month, like 100 gems and then a magic potion, for example. And yes, as a Tower 60, I would have been saying like, come on, like 100 gems and a magic potion, who cares, right? But being now for one month free to play, as a free to play, you're taking anything. Like it is really, really nice to have like anything or like, getting anything as free to play, especially for like having literally to do nothing. So yeah, you can visit the website completely for free to play. Make sure that you can boost your progression at least a little bit. Last season, we have gotten a bitter, um, a bitter potion, which was really amazing. This potion now again, is just going to be 10 gems, but I take it. Let me know what you think about the progression. Do you think, uh, or are you surprised how fast we can progress in the game? And yes, eventually we'll fix as well the defensive upgrades, but that's going to be something for the future because as I said, currently we're going to concentrate completely on those equipments. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I see you guys back tomorrow with the next class video. Until then, see ya and bye bye.